Okay guys, so uh, we're back at the boat and the mould is all gone off now, so uh, that's been post cured um, for a week and a half, so that should be fine. And then we've just marked on here where we're gonna make some cuts. So we're gonna make a cut there so we can get a wedge in there. Um, and then we're also gonna make some cuts down at the bottom here, uh, across here. Um, and then we're also gonna knock out this center partition and then the idea is to drive a wedge in here and a wedge in there and then we'll come in across the top here as well and drive some wedges in there and see if we can get it off the mould. So let's make a start. Okay guys, so we managed to get the mould out and it's turned out really nice again, really happy with this. Uh, we've got a little bit that's stuck here, the Duratec stuck, but we should be able to uh, scrape that off and we'll be able to uh, buff and polish that. Uh, plasticine, we just need to get off that off, but it's left as a nice radius again. A bit more that's stuck here and we've got a little bit that's stuck just here, but this should all scrape off, that's fine. But overall it's turned out really well. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're just going to have marked a line along here so we can get rid of all of these pokey bits so they're not sticking in our hands so we're going to get that trimmed off and also we've got some uh, excess to trim off here and here
Okay guys, it's the next day. Uh, I brought the part home to do a little bit more work on it over the weekend. And I just thought I'd show you progress so far. So I've just temporarily fitted these flanges. These are made of 18 mil MFC. Uh, and these are just bolted through the fiberglass. And this will give us a basically a lip or create a lip that we can, uh, a flange that we can then connect to the other parts of the mold. So this will then connect to the front part of the mold. Um, and we've got some, we've got these gaps here. We'll use plasticine as before. Uh, I mean, this is all hidden within the mold anyway, so you won't actually see this, but so we'll plasticine down here uh, and we'll plasticine up these corners here. Uh, also got a flange on the front. So this allows the two halves to be connected. So this will create a flange here that we'll be able to bolt through uh, and bond. Uh, and again, this is just temporarily fixed and we've got some bolts under here that bolt through uh, and this can just be pulled off once the part has been made. We've also cut the edges um, just to take away all the pokey bits so they don't, don't get stuck in our hands. And then we've started to, uh, to polish this. Uh, so we've been over this with wet and dry, knocked off all the high spots and um, started off with 180, um, 320, 600, 1000 and 2000 and then came across it with the uh, mop, the rotary polisher with the wool mop um, and that's given us a really nice finish. We were using the uh, Nanotech uh, speed cut uh, and that's given us a really nice finish but what we found is that it's not been able to get rid of some of these sanding marks without quite a few passes so we bought a coarser grade um, for Eckler uh, profile uh, coarse cut so we're hoping that that will get rid of these sanding marks and then we'll come across it again then with the Nanotech to give us the high gloss finish that we need. We've also got rid of the Duratech, so there was some Duratech that stuck to the mold here. We've chipped that off, uh, wet, and, wet and dried that, and we've just got a little bit left here that we've got to address. So we'll chip this off really carefully uh, with a chisel, and then we'll come across all of this with some wet and dry and get this to a really nice finish. So I think first thing to do is get these flanges off, so we'll get those bolted off, and we'll make a start on uh, getting off this uh, Girotech here and get it um, buffed and polished. Okay, so I brought the mould back inside. It's a little bit hot outside. Uh, this is polished now and, and ready to go. So you can see here, the finish is really nice. Uh, this is certainly good enough to mould from. Actually on the parts, the only bit you're really gonna see is this, this triangular recess bit here, which is uh, like a little storage bin at the side of the bed. The rest of it actually is gonna be covered in vinyl pad. Um, so all of this will be covered in vinyl pad and um, this here and all of this along here and then the recess actually um, there's a board um, that the bed sits on that covers all of this section and the recess so largely you're never going to see most of this part anyway so literally just that triangular bit there but we wanted to try and make the best job we could of it you know there's no point doing it half cocked to be honest with you and um, so some bits are a little bit rough so 
this edge here is a little bit rough and this edge across the top um, is a little bit rough as well but you don't see any of this this actually gets tabbed to the hull so this goes up against the hull and then it gets glassed over so none of this will ever be on show even without the vinyl pads on you'll never see any of this so not too concerned about that and then we've just got this corner to address so we did have to remove this corner so we could drive a wedge in um, so we'll just plaster seam this uh, and that will make that good uh, but other than that everything else is absolutely fine so we just need to bolt the, the flanges back on but it's turned out really well we've got a, just a small couple of imperfections here which again you'll never see but these are low spots so uh, i'm just focus that so these are low spots so when the part comes off of here these will actually come out as high spots so again they'll those will knock off really easily uh, with some wet and dry and we could polish them out so we're not too concerned that, about that but but overall great great mold uh, really happy with this um, never done anything like this before this is the first time i've made a mold uh, richard as well so um we're still learning but uh, but i think it's come out reasonably well so that's the wrap for today guys i uh, hope you enjoyed the video if you did give us a thumbs up and uh, and a like and we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching